The simplest way to link computers together is via a network controller and a disk drive. This enables all the computers to load any of the contents of a single disk into their RAM memories. They can all load the same program, or each of them can load a different program from the same disk. The computers can also communicate with each other via the disk drive. This is an example of a local disk sharing network, which could link many computers together within a single building, whether it be a factory, an office, or a school. But computers can also be linked together over distance via a modem and a telephone. The simplest example of this is an individual microcomputer that lets its disk drive be used as a bulletin board by any other computer that cares to call in to leave a message or pick up a message. Although many computers may use this type of network, the host computer is usually so small that only one guest computer can call in at a time. This is a typical small bulletin board network. But there is a third type of network whose host computer can be very large indeed, with enough computing power to run many disk drives at the same time, and therefore able to manage a large database with a tremendous variety of different sorts of data and programs stored in it. A giant host computer like this can move information between its own RAM memory and any of its disk drives at such high speed that even if dozens and dozens of small guest computers call in at exactly the same moment, it can dish out data or programs to them with only a split second pause between each customer. This is an example of a large database network. So those are three common types of computer network. Disk sharing, bulletin board, and large database.